who are you, Frankie Edgar, to get a title shot against one of the most dominant champions, one of the pound-for-pound pound best fighters on the planet right now in Jose Aldo? You see, the one, you sucked a lot of fucking white dick, or fatita dick, or two, the UFC is simply racist. I look at it for the fact Frankie Edgar goes moves down in weight, one weight class, after having a a great trilogy with Gray Maynard, for one. And I'm going to put it to you just like this. He is a smaller 155 fighter. However, in what planet, in what fucking realm, do you go down in weight and get an immediate title shot? Either the UFC has too many Brazilian champions and champions in uh, Henan Barral, uh, Anderson Silva, and Jose Aldo. Either that or just there's too many chicken sandwiches going around. You feel me? <laughs> yes, Frankie Edgar is a, sm uh, a smaller lightweight, but never in the history of fucking anything in making does someone lose their belt, drop weight class, and get an immediate title shot. It doesn't make sense. Why didn't Showtime uh, Anthony Pettis get an immediate uh, unification title shot against the, uh, the then-time lightweight uh, title? Huh? Why? 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 You know why? Because the UFC picks their champions. They pick who's more marketable, who they would like to see on their fucking posters more. And for what it is, Jose Aldo's Brazilian. He speaks in Portuguese. Same thing with Anderson Silva. It looks good to have a fucking one for what it is. I know they are at odds now. John Jones is a light heavyweight champion. No one's fucking with him at a light heavyweight. Uh, two, you know they want fucking George St. Pierre to be the poster boy, especially for fucking Canada. And, you know, three, I mean, there's going to be somebody that they're going to want over. They're going to want somebody else as champion for the fucking heavyweight title. Like I said, look at it for what it is. You have uh, Junior De Santos, Brazil, heavyweight champion. You have middleweight champion, no one's going to beat him, Anderson Silva. Now you have Henan Barral. The, also, we have Jose Haldo. Why in the fuck are they going to give a guy like Frankie Edgar an immediate title shot at one of the most legitimate titles in MMA right now? Like how it, like fighters, fucking Kenny Floor, all these fighters are saying, oh, yo, pound for pound, this guy is fucking a beast. Why, why are you going to take somebody's legacy? And I, I'm not going to say legacy. How are you going to take someone's career and someone being so dominant, have someone that lost... A title to Benson Henderson which is a huge fucking 155 fucking fighter I could see him at 170 maybe possibly even at 185 but how are you going to have someone move down in weight after having a crazy trilogy with fucking Gray Maynard and then also getting beat twice by Benson Henderson make him have a couple fucking warm-up fights at 145 you don't just fucking give him candy as soon as he fucking walks into the candy store nigga what kind of bullshit is that fuck you dana white fuck you ufc fuck you sure dog and truthfully fuck you frankie edgar there are a lot of 145 fighters waiting in the mix to truthfully have a fucking title eliminator like get the top four 145 fighters right now have them fight give frankie edgar a couple of those fighters and then give him a title shot if he gets past them it's nothing but fucking a pure bias and a pure fucking is what it is what they want to fucking flagship hold their fucking belts and also i walk i wore the jujitsu gi i wore the jujitsu gi in respect to brazilian fighters in brazil for running mma right now y'all got it back and I appreciate that shit. It is what it is. Beer drank shouty. Who the fuck are you, nigga? Nigga? Nigga?